So let's review pulmonary circulation. First of all, pulmonary circulation deals 100% of the time with um, circulation to the lungs. And we can take the time to go ahead and make it anatomically correct, right? That was so correct. So two things have to happen. First of all, we have to take blood to the lungs away from the heart, and that means that that is going to be mm, arteries are going to take blood away. One of the things that is interesting about the pulmonary circulation is that the arteries contain deoxygenated blood, whereas the veins contain oxygenated blood. And this just isn't the way the rest of our body is set up, which is why almost guaranteed exam question is something along the lines of do arteries always contain oxygenated blood? Oh my gosh, a sorting question would be fantastic where I gave you a list of things to sort and you had to sort them into piles of based on oxygenated or deoxygenated um, blood. That's a great sorting task. So um, we did the pulmonary trunk already. The pulmonary trunk is coming out of the right ventricle. That's interesting. And the pulmonary trunk, because it's coming out of the right ventricle, it then splits into two pieces. And one piece, the left pulmonary artery, carries blood to the left lung, and the right pulmonary artery carries blood to the right lung. Once there, the blood has to come back because now it's been oxygenated. We've dealt with the alveoli. Those of you in physio know we've done gas exchange. That's fantastic. And our blood has to come back as freshly oxygenated. And remember that our atria always receive blood from somewhere. And so look, you can see these two little twangers down here. You see those guys? There actually are two uh, pulmonary veins that come from each lung. So the blood gets oxygenated and nice, but it's coming toward the heart, so those are veins. The left pulmonary veins enter the left atrium. The right pulmonary veins also enter the left atrium. Now, most of the time, those two pulmonary veins from each side empty into the left atrium. And so how many holes do you have bringing blood into the left atrium? Most of the time, you have four. Sometimes, apparently, these two pulmonary arteries actually combine, I mean veins actually combine, and so that there's only one or two, well, there would be one from each side two, three, or four holes in your left atrium. That's my pulmonary circulation. Now we'll do a really quick, actually, review of the coronary circulation, and then we'll move into our new stuff.